We were just driving along this main highway. It's slightly higher than the waters around it when we suddenly saw all of these sack loads of grains, um, trunks full of clothing. So we stopped and we just saw, uh, come with me, I'll show you. We just saw people bringing their stuff. They're wading through the water. Um, there's, there's clothing. They've uh, saved their bedding. It's completely drenched. Uh, you can see the water dripping from it. They've even brought these uh, wooden beds. Some people. Right, so he's saying, look at us, everything is absolutely soaked, everything is ruined. We're trying to save everything. They're saying that everything was drowned in water. Yeah, I'm just telling him he can go and save his stuff. He doesn't have to stop for us. But you can see they are salvaging precious little from all of this. I mean, they've got their fans, their beds. Um, wow. Okay, so... Look at this. This is how they're bringing their stuff across. They've uh, got some kind of rubber tyre. They're tying the beds upside down to it and wading through the water. I'm going to step aside into the water a little bit for you. I mean, little children, we've, we've seen the elderly, the infirm, young, old, men, women, children. They're having to come through the water. Um, sorry. I just thought I'd better help this little boy. Over. Abjai. Naam kya tumara? Oh, okay, we won't. Um, he started crying. I mean, this is incredibly scary for children. It's really hard to explain just how much water there is. I mean, it, we're absolutely surrounded by it. Uh, uh, Nasser, if you can show everyone, just right across everything. And in fact, I don't know if you can see on screen, but what my producer and cameraman were just telling me is that, look, the water is changing colour. There are two colours in the water now. That means there is now water coming in, as predicted, from further afield. We were worried about the... Um, water coming down from the north, gushing through as it's come down through the various provinces. We're right at the bottom of Pakistan. Glacier ice is melting at the top. Flooding is happening. Rivers are bursting their banks. And we're in the middle of a monsoon. Hard to think of it now because it's so hot. So here we are. There's a village of five or six hundred people. They're trying to salvage what they can. And we're trying to show you exactly what people in Pakistan are experiencing. As Antonio Gutierrez, the head of the UN, said that this is a warning for the rest of the world. It's time to wake up to climate change.